Hi everyone, welcome back to a quick and dirty tutorial with Accents by Adita. It's been a little bit, but I've been really busy. Um, I want to talk about how to, with vinyl or even your paper, do shadows around your words. My sister had asked me to do my, sis my niece's name, and I did, and I used a shadow with the vinyl, and it really came out nice, and I thought this would be something interesting to show you. Okay, so what I do is I start out with a word that I've already put the way I want it to look, and so you highlight it, and you can either go to transform shadow because that's what we're going to work with or if you go to one of my earlier tutorials about how to um, customize your K and K toolbar you'll see what I did up here is I have added the shadow button so I'm just going to go here you'll see that there's four different types up here in the left corner first one is a block shadow then you have the perspective shadow a drop shadow and a cast shadow. And if you take a look right across here, I give you an example of each. But the one I'm going to use for this uh, tutorial is the block shadow. So I've highlighted my word. We've seen that. We're going to click on block shadow. And you'll see that this little circle pops up. And you just grab it and you can pull it. And you can see as you move it around, it it's I think it's called a block because there's a square around it and then it just pulls you around you just grab the circle and you decide exactly how you want it to look big wide all the way across so I think this looks nice like this and so I'm gonna let go and then click off to the side and there it shows up now for doing vinyl or paper I guess it would help too but really it's mostly vinyl I think that this is a great thing let me show you what I did to make sure that I was able to line everything up perfectly because that's really where the trick is going to be over here under the shapes tool I'm just going to pick two squares I'm just going to put one there and then control D duplicate and put another one here right next to each other and I'll put them close by over here okay now I'm going to highlight the whole thing here and I'm going to go control D to make a duplicate of what I just did and bring it down okay now guess what I'm going to do pretty simple on this top one I'm going to get rid of the black lettering okay so that's going to be one layer of my vinyl the bottom layer and then on this one I'm going to get rid of the green color and that's going to leave my lettering so let me get rid of this for you so you don't have to look at it okay sorry and so when you look at it you're going to end up with two cutting files you're going to have this which is your front part lettering and then this which is your background outline something that you can also do if you want is go ahead and put another square around it and this is really more for your weeding to help you oops let me put this to the back and change it to like a red color and I'll do the same thing down here that way when you weed it's a little bit easier Okay, so there's what it's going to look like. I will go actually cut it out right now, and then I'll follow up this with an actual hands-on so you can see how the vinyl works and how the placement works. Also, if you're interested in this, just send me an email, and I will send you this K&K &K file um, so you can have it at home and you can play with it too. So let me go on to the next step, and we'll pick up from there. Okay, here you see, um, I've already gone ahead and started weeding because you really don't want to watch a whole video on me weeding, so just carefully remove your vinyl, and you do want to leave those two squares in place. Those are really important, so let me get this out here, and take out this little bit inside here, okay. Now the reason I had said you could do the square here, say you have like a big piece of vinyl, this way you would just be able to take your scissors and cut in here, but... I, I started out small anyway, but I wanted to show you why that's for. Okay, now that you have your two squares done, you're going to think in terms of layering now. So this is going to be the top layer, and this is going to go on to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my backing paper here on this. And I've already got one cut out. And I'm just going to lay it on top and press it in place. And... Let me cut around that real quick. In the meantime, you're going to want to have like some kind of squeegee tool. You can use what you get in the Pampered Chef catalog uh, parties to clean the ceramic dishes or anything that has like a flat edge. You know, it's up to you. Not a problem. Okay, so I have 
my backing paper. Pretty. And I just have this piece of plastic that's got this edge. So I'm just going to rub this down really fast. Okay. And now we're going to transfer this onto this sheet here. Okay. And these dots are really important. So we're going to carefully remove it. And see how that looks? If it's not in all the way, come back again with your little squeegee tool and push down until it all comes off together. Sometimes you have to do this a couple times, but I'm just trying to rush through here. So it's not picking up quite as well. Hold on. There we go. All right. Now you're going to come with this piece here and using your two squares here and the two squares that you can see through, you're going to line it up as close as possible, carefully. Line your squares up, okay? And then once you have your two squares lined up perfectly, this is the trick, you're going to start pushing in from the side where the dots are and carefully laying down your word. Okay, and again, just push this down. Okay? So with that in place, you see that there? Now when you go to remove the paper, it's going to pull up the blue shadow and then you can place it on your wall the way you want. So let me go ahead and place that and we'll come right back, okay? Okay, before I mount this on the wall, I just want to see this is transferred. So here's how the front looks, this is what you're going to put on your paper. And here is what the back looks like. So you see it's got the blue, that's all you're seeing. Okay, so let's take it over to the wall and go okay, from there. So here's the wall, you got your blank space, and we're just going to go ahead and find where it is you want to lay the word. Lay it down, press it down here. Again, using your squeegee. You're going to rub it in place. I don't worry about these squares anymore because I really don't want those left on my wall. So just come like this and then slowly using your corner, you're going to gently rock it back and forth and you will see how easy it was to transfer your word onto the wall and it's got this really cool shadow effect. I hope you guys give it a try. Bye.